I had a coaching session with a new agent and he asked Barino, is it possible for a new agent to make $150,000 this year in real estate? And I said, yes, it's possible. <laughs> And we are ready to go. My name is Borino. If this is your first time here with me on Rockstars or watching this on replay, great to have you. Welcome. I've been, as you heard, lucky enough to train over the last 20 years, over 100,000 real estate agents just like you, helping them get more clients, get more leads, make more money, especially in these challenging times. And I'm here to help you. It's good to have you. Today's going to be a fun session. Let me clear this out. Enough of the self-promotion. You know my name. It's just Borino. I don't use my last name. It's just Borino. Prince, Madonna, and Borino. Easy to remember, right? Post your questions in the comments. We'd love to answer them. Today, we're going to have a fun session because I had a coaching session with a new agent and he asked Borino, is it possible for a new agent to make $150,000 this year in real estate? And I said, yes, it's possible. Not easy, not simple, but it's possible. So today, we're going to strip down all the distractions, all the nonsense, all the noise, and I'm going to show you how you can do that. Whether you've been in the business for a month, 10 years, 20 years, if you would like to make around $150,000, that's, that's what the goal is. That's what the formulas I'm going to show you. That's what the math is going to be. 150 grand. Yeah? Interested? Spencer is here with us and Spencer says, Hey Barino, I'm laying out my prospecting plan for daily action. Do you recommend the day on fire schedule every day? Spencer, good question. I actually do. And today I'm going to show you what day on fire is and how we can break it down. So let's get cranking. I'm going to use my calculator now. A simple dis uh, disclaimer. My numbers will be different than yours, but the formulas are the same. The approach is the same. The strategies are the same. So whatever your average commission is, whatever your average uh, sales price is, you're just going to work in different numbers, but the process is the same. So let's just assume that I'm a brand new agent, just started in real estate. I have some skills, of course. I'm learning. I'm, I'm improving my systems and my skills. I have the right mindset. We talked about mindset a lot, so we're not going to get into that. But let's just talk about how would I break down a simple business plan to that 150000 You guys are ready? Follow along. Use your strategy. So here's what we're going to assume, just for the sake of an easy math. And I dare you. I double dare you. The average commission in my area is $10,000. So if I want to do 150 transactions, uh, 15 transactions will get me to my goal, give or take. Yeah? Now, you may have $8,000, $15,000, whatever it is. You just figure out what is your target of closed transactions in the next 12 months. In this case, we're going to keep it simple, it's 15. Here's the second assumption. I am not going to include buyers. Say what? Logically. Why? Because buyers would take enormous amount of time. There is no guarantee I'm going to get paid. I don't want to be on the pile of 15, 20 other offers and just hope, 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 mine's going to get accepted. So we're going to focus only on sellers right now. Buyers will come. Some of your sellers will become buyers. Double in some transactions. Good listings will attract naturally buyers, but we are not going to focus on buyers. This strategy, this plan is strictly to get you good sellers. Clear? All right. So now, how do I get 15 listings? Here is what I want to do. Number one, not focus on buyers. Number two, I want to keep it very simple and very inexpensive. I don't want to waste a lot of money on complicated Facebook ads. I don't want to buy leads from Realtor.com or Zillow because those are just suspects. I don't know anything about these people. I don't even have a guaranteed method of getting hold of them. And for those of you who tried it and sent million emails and sent phone calls and nobody answered, you know what I'm talking about. I want to go for something that will not guarantee, but pretty much assure me that I can get to my goal or pretty close, maybe even exceed it. Okay. So I'm going to set up funnels that I know perform where I can zero in and identify my leads very quickly. I don't have to spend a lot of time doing it. I don't have to spend a lot of money doing it. I want to keep it simple because if you're like me, you know, if it's 145 steps and if it's going to cost me $7,000, nobody's going to do it. Okay. You're with me so far. So I'm going to start setting up funnels and this will be my lead generation follows funnels that I'm going to be working daily every single day diligently with basic systems and with some skill. Now, the most important skill that I need to develop and you need to develop is communication skills. Not to become a telemarketer or an aggressive salesman, none of that. Just good in conversations on the phone, virtually and in person. That is critical. That's why a lot of what I teach and coach you guys, and you can check it out if you're interested. Check this out. This is my coaching. It's called Path, The Path. I teach a lot about communication, a lot about influence, persuading people without being salesy. GoBorino.com is the URL. All right, so I'm going to set up these funnels. So where can I find good seller leads right now? I'm going to start with the easy ones, with the no-brainers that convert about 70%, and that's FizzBoss. So that's my first funnel. Now I know what you're thinking. 
you may be thinking, I'm gonna put my magic hat on and transfer your thoughts into my mind, and you're thinking, well, Fizzbuzz are selling on their own. They don't wanna list with an agent. Am I right? But that's not based on data. Based on data, I interviewed a CEO of Fizzbuzz, one of the largest Fizzbuzz works, at 70% list with an agent. And it just makes more sense. They want more money as an agent. In most cases, you can get them more money. They want better buyers, you can get them better buyers. You can get better advertising, better negotiation, multiple offers. So they're better off. So I'm gonna start approaching them. So my first bucket will be Fizzbuzz, and I'll break down the numbers for you in just a moment. But first, let's set these up. Second bucket. You have probably hundreds of old expired listings on your multiple listing. And if you go back six months, 12 months, 18 months, two years, there are folks who tried to sell a while back and never sold. And many of these will say, you know what? Market is hot. There's a lot of demand for homes. We can get more today than we could have gotten, let's say, a year ago. Let's give it another shot. Great source of listings. And many of me, my students who use the Expire Plus system who follow it, are getting listings, right? I'm talking to you, Anna Maldonado Williams, right? So old expires. There may be some new ones, not that many, but there are plenty of olds. In some of those areas, when we did our last research, there were a thousand. So you're sitting on a good opportunity. Here's my third one, and that's my sphere, sphere of influence. Referrals. That's a bread and butter. That's a no-brainer. Why? Because you're already talking to and working with people who have a relationship with you, who like you, who trust you. So that's a lovely source of good. There's only one catch that you need to be aware of when it comes to working your sphere, and that's this. You cannot build a predictable business model based on when you're going to get how many referrals. You can estimate, and you can be pretty accurate about it, but you cannot rely on it. In other words, you can just say, okay, in month of August, I'm going to get four referrals sellers. That's impossible to do. There will be referrals that will come, and some of them will be sellers, and that's great. But it is not predictable as, let's say, expired listings or for sold by owners. You with me? All right, let's set up the next funnel. This will be number four, and that's my neighborhood. Because I already have a relationship and I'm geographically situated and strategically positioned, who's better to help me than a neighbor? Neighbor helping a neighbor. Am I right? You with me? All right, so now I have four funnels. I don't want to spread myself too thin. I don't want to become jack of all trades and master of none. So I'm going to master these because friends, if you just, you don't even need to master them. You just need to be a little better than an average agent, which doesn't take a whole lot. Some effort, some good communication, a little bit of some marketing skills, good follow-up, which is important. I'm going to plug this all into a central CRM. All of these leads I'm going to feed into my contact management system. They can be Lyndas, they can be Realty Juggle, they can be Follow Up Boss, they can be Exact Contact. There's a whole bunch of them out there. So I'll just pick one and I work them because I know one thing generating these leads is just the first step. Where the conversions happen, where the appointments happen, will be right here during my follow up. Because even the hottest leads, whether it's Fizzball's Expired Sphere or my neighbors, will take some nurturing. It will take some repeated communication before I start seeing appointments and listings. You with me? So it's not going to happen overnight. Some may be more motivated than others, and some may take just a couple of days. That's possible. But I also know that majority will take between 5 and 15 follow-up touches. That is where the sweet spot is, between 5 and 15. So I'm prepared for that. So now let's run the numbers. In order for me to end up with 15 listings, I'm going to work it backwards. And I'm going to ask myself, well, I'm a fairly new agent. I don't have a huge track record, but I have a good communication skills, I have a good listing presentation, I know my neighborhood, I know pricing, I know marketing, so I feel pretty confident I can convert. So let's be really conservative. Now again, your numbers will be different, but I as a new agent say, okay, I need to go on two listing appointments to get a listing. So my closing ratio as a beginner, 50%. You, my students, my rock stars, people who use my system, the presentation plus, you can probably do 80, 90%, but let's be conservative. So it's going to take me 30 appointments to get 15 listings. Here's the next question. This is listings. This is appointments. How many leads do I need to bring into my contact management system to get my 30 appointments? Now, because I'm working with high conversion leads, high probability leads, Fizzbos, Expireds, Fear, those are good quality leads. Those are not some tired kickers that filled out some form six months ago that somebody resold me seven times. Those are usually very good leads. Those are usually not as hard to convert as many others. So I'm not going to need as many to get my 30 appointments. Make sense? All right. So if I need 30 appointments, I'm going to be conservative. I'm going to say I need 10 leads to get an appointment. It's going to require one appointment per 10 leads. 
So I'm gonna need to generate 300 leads, 300 leads that need to go into my CRM. Not impossible. Now let's start breaking it down. Where can I get these leads? Can I get, let's say one FISBO a day, five days a week. So that's five leads a week. Is that possible? Sure, it's possible. Now, if I have 100 old expireds, hundreds of them, that I could go back. Can I get five of those a week? It's totally doable, right? Can I work my sphere? Now, with the sphere, that's a little, tr little trickier. But what I do know is a statistic from the, National, from the United States Census Bureau. And that is 9% of the U.S. population will move in the next 12 months. It dropped. It used to be 12% prior to 2019. In 2019, we saw a little dip, but it's still about 1 out of 10. That's still pretty good. So what I do know is that if I have, let's say, 200 people in my sphere, that's about 20 potential moves, give or take. Now, I'm going to be conservative and I'm going to say, well, with half, I may not connect or they may not a good lead or not somebody I want to work with. So that's just 10. Can we do 10 potential moves that I work with? So let's break it down. If I can add and grow my lead base, my sphere base, and expand it to people I know, they can be friends, past clients and everybody, and I can accumulate probably, I'll be conservative, let's say three leads a week. That's doable, right? It's possible. I grow my sphere, I work my sphere, I'm keep expanding my sphere. And then my neighborhood. Now let's say I start with an area of 500 homes. And again, I just use that number if 10%, about 10% of the turnover rate, that's 50 potential. So I'm going to half that again to be conservative. That's 25. So let's say that gives me a lead a week. Is that possible? Yeah, it's possible. If I work it actively, which I would. All of that goes into my CRM. So now I have my plan. Now all I have to do is figure out my daily activities that will get me a FISBO, that will get me an expired, that will get me a connection with my sphere. And that's what I'm going to focus on. So. Here's the second part to it. My 300 leads, and I will hold myself accountable. If I divide it into the next 52 weeks or 240 working days, so 300 divided 240 average working days, so that's only between one to two leads a day. I can do that. Because there'll be days where I work and do my thing and maybe I get zero. But there'll be days where it just kicks in and it goes really well and I'm knocking out of the park, so I'm going to get two or three or four. So I'm going to start averaging it out. Now I know that by the end of the work week, because if I divide 300 divided 52 weeks, I just need to end up between, it's actually 5.7 leads. So let's say, let's round it out, six leads. And that's my target. That's my target for the either five or six working days, depending on how much you work. I'm going to focus. How do I get my six leads? Now, I have a question for you, my friends. If my goal is to do $150,000 in the next 12 months, is getting six leads really impossible? Of course, it's possible. And you're going to get well paid for that. And you're going to get well rewarded. And then all you have to do is just expand your systems, improve your skills. Where can I improve? Well, I can improve here. I can improve my listing presentations. I don't need to get more leads. I just need to get better. I can improve my follow-up. So I convert more of these potential leads into clients. So it's not just doing more. It's not just getting more leads. That's not necessarily just the only answer. I mean, it helps, but it's not the only answer. What is the other answer? I got to get better. And with time, if you work on yourself, with time, if you improve how you communicate, what kind of follow-up you have, the frequency, the quality of the conversations, the quality of the materials and the advice and the guidance you provide, of course you're going to get better. And of course the results will get better. But and this is the platform, this is what this whole thing stands on. You need to go in, I need to go in thinking, I can do this, there's plenty of business, I got this. I need to have a mindset that it's doable, I deserve it, there's plenty of opportunities. There are plenty of clients who need my help, there's plenty of money to be made. Because if I go in the mindset, it's not gonna work, it's too hard, it's too competitive, market is hard, COVID. Sellers are picky, fizzballs don't list, I'm just gonna attract that. So my mindset needs to be very positive, very focused. So part of my day, spending a few, five, 10 minutes a day will be on making sure my mindset is right. Making sure I reach the goals I set. And that's how you do it. It's no more complicated than that. Is this easy? No. But then what is easy? Sitting in the office five days a week somewhere, having some meaningful job, meaningless job, collecting paycheck, just so you have two days off on the weekend, 
without any potential to grow. See, here's the best part, and this is one of the reasons I'm so passionate and excited about real estate. You can reach your goal, 150 grand. It's totally doable. And I believe almost every single one of you can do this. And when I say almost, there are a few who, usually because of the mindset, feel like I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough. And the reason I know that is because I've been there. I struggled with it for a long time. But almost every single one of you can do this, or more. But here's the best part. You can finish that year, earn your money, have a good time doing it, and you can say, can I double it? And again, I'm here to tell you, you can. I've had students do that. I was lucky enough, I don't know if it was luck or a lot of work and a lot of trial and error, I did that. You can too. You can devise the same plan, maybe add another funnel, improve it, and it's usually a little bit of everything. You improve your communication, you improve your follow-up, you improve your lead generation, you improve your listing process, your listing presentation, and you add another system, your business grows. You add a buyer's agent, you add a transaction coordinator, a marketing manager, and you're growing. Maybe expand into a team, maybe bring on more people. So your income grows without you working any harder or more hours. That's the secret, my friends. And that's how you do it. That's how it's done. That's how all these rock stars here on Rockstars or my students or just agents out there in your area, you know, driving the fancy Bentleys and Mercedes and living in beautiful homes and doing all that stuff. That's how it's done. Now, sure, I can set up different funnels here. I can take the expires out and replace it with something else. Facebook ads, for example. But here's the trouble with Facebook ads. I still need to learn a whole bunch of stuff. I still need to have a very solid follow-up and my cost is going to go up because you ain't going to make a lot of money on $20 a day on Facebook. That is a fact. And especially these days when Facebook is making advertising a lot more complicated and difficult and makes us jump through a lot of hoops, it's a challenge. It can be done, but it's just like anything else. It requires knowledge and skill. Thinking, I'm just going to copy some fancy ads that other agents run is not really the answer. It needs to be a whole system where the core of it is here, not here. But you can do it. You with me? All right. Take that formula, take that breakdown, spend 20 minutes, get a cup of coffee and spend 20 minutes devising a plan. Because friends, if you don't plan to succeed, you're going to, by default, either struggle or be mediocre. Set up a simple plan. It's going to be perfect. It's not going to be ideal. It's not going to be brilliant, but it's going to be something. It's going to be a starting point. And as you go through after a few weeks, you can evaluate, okay, this is working. This I need to improve. This is performing well. I need to work on this part. And you can enhance. You can get better. Because things will not get better until you get better. Things will not improve until you improve. Your lead generation, your mindset, your systems, and your skills. That's the whole secret. And with that, my friends, I want to say thank you. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate it very much. If there's anything I can do, please let me know. I'm here to coach. I'm here to help you. I'm here to guide you. I'm here to make sure that you do that or a lot more. My name is Borino. Appreciate you. Have a fantastic day. Let's go get it. Bye, everybody.